Hi, my name is Lee Hahn. I'm one of the two construction managers at the Enlarged Cotter Dam. It's January 2013 now and we've finished the RCC placement uh, the previous month. The works you can see uh, progressing in the background there are firstly on the upstream face. You'll see a number of guys working off ropes. They're patching some of the uh, upstream concrete to make sure that's all watertight, serviceable and durable for the duration of the dam's life. You can also see in the opposite side of the dam there a mobile crane doing some formwork erection and dismantling as some of the other structural elements come up to the crest of the dam. On the dam crest itself at the moment there's a number of drill rigs which are installing anchors. Those anchors will uh, ensure that the crest works, the structural works for the crest, are knitted down to the RCC concrete as the water flows over the dam in the future. talked a little bit about the uh, log boom that we're about to install in the next few weeks. We might see over my right hand shoulder at the moment the uh, temporary boom down there at the moment, the little yellow section of uh, floating objects and you can see a few logs that have collated against that. What's going to happen is as the dam fills up all the debris that's uh, accumulated over the years will be washed down and that will uh, eventually impact on the dam unless we put a boom through. So you might see on the opposite bank over there, about 500 odd metres away, there's a large concrete anchor that we've installed and there's another one just over to my left, about 30 metres away. You see out here in front of us as the units are being assembled, uh, they're going to be lengths of about 60 metres on average each and the plan is with each of these lengths is to pick them up via a helicopter, fly that down to the dam, uh, they'll then be lowered into position connected to the previous length or chain and then draped down the embankment, draped across the waterline and subsequently all connected up. Altogether the log boom is roughly 540 metres long. Uh, the log boom itself is made up of some floatable sections to keep it obviously at the uh, top of the reservoir and then there's a uh, galvanised grate just to stop the logs seeping underneath etc. Why are we doing this? Um, the catchment itself will be uh, inundated the area of the dam that's uh, going to be submerged increases from about 20 hectares to something like 270. That being the case, there's going to be an awful lot of woody debris that will be washed down towards the dam. We don't want that debris obviously hitting the dam and in particular hitting the intake tower, getting jammed up inside the dam. That could be disastrous. So this is a preventative measure and uh, one of the key operating functions of the dam once it's complete. We're in the final phase of the batch plant demob. I think the last time I spoke to you we actually start the first section of it while the dam was still being built. They still ran on the one that we weren't using. Now that the dam's come to its completion we're into the second second stage of the demob which is pulling the whole plant down now. So that includes the second batch plant, all the incline belts, all of the delivery belts, incline belts from all the stockpiles and the sand shed will come down later on but we've got to get the batch plants packed up and ready to go, shipped out and ready to go on to the next job. It's going to be different coming down of course as to going up. I wasn't part of going up. Um, a lot of the guys here weren't part of the putting together stage so there's a select few that have been around since day one like Peter Belling and, and, and Ricky Higgins. So, uh, they're invaluable with their knowledge of how things came apart or how things went together rather than the reverse of coming apart. But yeah, no. Um, yeah, it's always a challenge. Different crane crews, different dogmen, different ways of doing things. You know, it's just a matter of a game plan and going with it. Well, every construction job has to come to an end, and this is part of that phase. So yeah, it all has to be pulled down, packed up, sent on to the next job, and then it has to be rejuvenated and put back to the way it was as best we can, I suppose. But yeah, no, look, it's all part of the process. Where we're presently located is just on the reservoir side of Saddle Dam number one. So this area just over to my right, the uh, left of screen, some of that will be sort of subject to inundation as the uh, dam fills later on. What you can see here at the moment is a lot of the batch plant conveyors and indeed the grey items of the conveyors that deliver the RCC down to the uh, RCC placement service during construction. Uh, the brown bits that you can see there are largely associated with the conveyors uh, inside the uh, batch plant, moving all the aggregate around and cement etc. 
through the batch plant and the process of uh, batching the RCC concrete. What you might see in the uh, background is the former stockpile area where we've got a little bit of surplus aggregate which is now collating that and getting that in the state that's ready to be rehabilitated and uh, handed over to uh, our client ACTU. Uh, what we're doing here at the moment is uh, various elements of the cement silos that used to be engaged at the uh, RCC batch plant. They've uh, been dis dismantled, disassembled up at the batch plant, brought down here for storage, and then later on they'll be demobilised from site. There's a few guys saying they're going to miss a lot of the people that have worked here, of course. But um, yeah, they're all coming to grips with it. Uh, there's another lot of guys moving on shortly, and. There'll be another lot after that, so no one will be here when it's finished. Everyone's realistic about it, it's just a shame that the social life and the, and the friends that we make and see every day probably won't be here, but we all move on, that's the way it goes.